Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, and in this video what we got to do is find out whether this function here is even, odd, or neither. So to do a quick little recap of symmetry, we know that a function, it's going to be odd if f of negative x equals negative f of x, and we know a function is going to be even if f of negative x equals the original function f of x. That's how we can algebraically check this. So, so far we've been dealing with polynomial functions that have been expanded, but notice this is a polynomial function in factored form. And we can expand this, the expansion on this wouldn't be too bad actually, but what if we had an exponent 2 here, and then an exponent 3, then the expansion can get a little wild. So, what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos, starting with this one, is showing you how to find the symmetry of a function when it's in this factored form and even in more complex factored form as we'll go over in future videos. But for now let's just work with this one and let's keep it in this format. So this is f of x here, so what do we got to find? We got to find out what's f of negative x first. So what we would do is we would plug in negative x for all the x values. So we have negative x over here, we'll have negative x plus 3 here, and then we got negative x minus 3 right there. So we want to find an expression for f of negative x, and then we're going to find an expression for negative f of x, and see whether any of these equalities hold here. So to simplify this, what you do, notice negative 5 times negative x is just going to be positive, 5x. And what you do with these brackets here is you want to factor out a negative 1 from both of them because you want to get the x value to be in the same format as the original function having a positive leading coefficient. So I'm going to factor out a negative 1 here. So if I factor out a negative 1 from this bracket, notice I'll end up with x minus 3, right? All the signs will change. And then if I factor out a negative 1 from this bracket, this would become an x plus 3. All the signs would change there. And now what you can do is you can multiply this negative 1, negative 1, 5x. So negative 1 times negative 1 is just positive 1 times 5x just gives us positive 5x. And then we got this x minus 3, x plus 3. And so that there is the simplified expression for f of negative x. So we're going to be using this, we're also going to be using this, and then we also got to find out what's negative f of x. And negative f of x in this case is very simple. We just multiply this whole thing by negative 1. So we would put a negative 1 in front and then just rewrite that original function. And all you do here is take that negative 1 and multiply it by this first expression. So you would end up with positive 5x, x plus 3, x minus 3. Now be careful, this negative 1 you don't distribute quote unquote to this expression and then this expression and then this expression because they're all multiplying. Okay, so just to do a quick little review of fundamentals, if you got something in front and you're adding expressions, then you can distribute, but if you got something here and you're multiplying expressions in the bracket like we're doing here, then you just multiply everything. You don't distribute, you don't take this a and multiply it by the b, you take the a and multiply it by the c, you just multiply the a by both of these terms like that. Okay, so the distribution quote unquote happens when you're adding or subtracting. This could be subtracted as well, right? So. Just be careful with that. So this negative 1, we're just multiplying by that first term. And so this is the expression for negative f of x. And so what you do now is you just check, does f of negative x equal negative f of x? Well, notice f of negative x is this, and negative f of x is that, and notice that they are indeed the same thing in this case. So the answer to this question is that the function is odd. Now we could check if it's odd then it shouldn't be even, so notice f of negative x, this expression, uh, and then what's f of x? It's this. Now they're almost the same, the factors x plus 3, x minus 3 are the same, 
but this negative 5x and this positive 5x are different. So f of negative x does not equal f of x. So we know it's not even for sure. And because f of negative x equals negative f of x, we know the function is odd.